out of this. And welcome back to my channel, Rob from Woozy Summercraft here. Um, okay, a couple of things. I've got a new YouTube channel specifically for beekeeping. Um, I became a beekeeper last year, so now I have bees. I make get my own honey from the bees. So if you're interested in uh, bee videos, then head on over to Woodsley Bees. I'll leave a link in the description below. And please support me. Right now I only have like 36 subscribers. Um, and that's mainly due to the channel being originally made in 2011 uh, for other purposes. I didn't know what I was doing. Still don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, that's now become a bee channel. So if you could support me there, that would be awesome. Um, I have four bee videos up and I can only make short videos at the moment because I don't have very many subscribers. Anyway, let's get to this. I've been commissioned to make a couple of cutting boards for a fella at work. Now, this is not going to be that cutting board because it's not really big enough. He wants a 14 by 14 by 3 inch thick end grain maple board and also an 18 by 18 inch by 3 inch thick walnut, black walnut board. Um, I have purchased the wood ready for that project but I figured well it's been a while since I've made one let's practice on a piece of wood that I picked up this week on Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace is a great place to pick up pieces that you could maybe make into something else. I got super lucky with this. So this piece of wood here is 18 inches by 24 inches by 3 inches thick. This is segmented, they're, well segmented, they're strips. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 strips of hard maple. So uh, what I'm going to do is, this is side grain. It's been well used, it's got a lot of cuts in it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half because I'm not really sure if there's biscuits in here, biscuit joints. If there's biscuit joints then it's going, to main, it's going to still be a side grain board. But I'm going to clean up this surface and the other surface and I may add a piece of walnut here or there. Something just to give it a little extra but uh, it will still be a really nice cutting board when it's finished I'm hoping. So this one was actually manufactured by um, Wood Welded. Michigan Maple Limited. That's in uh, 296 North Street, Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada. So uh, it's an old cutting board and I'm planning to make it into a new cutting board, end grain, hopefully. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this on the bandsaw. I just think it's safer. I'm going to cut it right in half. That's great. There are no biscuits in this uh, cutting board, so I've cut it in half mainly because I can't get anything bigger than 12 inches through my thickness planer. These are about 9 inches now, so I can get them through there without an issue. Um, so I need to take these through the thickness planer, make them nice and uh, clean new surfaces again on all four sides, and then I'll be taking it to the table saw and removing the ends to remove these and then we'll be cutting it on the table saw to make two and three quarter inches I think it's two and three quarter inch pieces and then we'll flip them up and glue everything back together again and it's going to be a cutting board it's going to be awesome I'm really looking forward to it okay let's get it going
So I have all the pieces cut. Basically, they're all the same size. They're a little bit rough around the edges, but uh, they're going to go through the thickness planer again anyway. What I'm going to have to do is actually glue these back together. I kind of wish I didn't cut it now, but uh, I wanted to know if there was biscuits inside. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these back together like this and then stagger them. And I'm going to glue them together staggered and then I'm actually going to make two separate cutting boards rather than one big one. Um, butcher blocks you can call them if you want because they are quite quite sturdy. They're going to be 10 and 3 quarters by about 16 inches. Actually a little bit more than 16 inches. They'll be about just 17 and a quarter inches roughly. So um, I'm going to go ahead and glue these, get them clamped, and then we'll go from there. This is all the scrap pieces that I had left over, which isn't a whole lot, just from the ends, from where the uh, piece was routed out for the handle, which I'll have to do again or do something again. Okay, let's get this glued and we'll get back to you. I just put some water on the edge of this all around to raise the grain.
So I've drilled a one eighth hole in the board in all four corners, inch and a half in from both sides and uh, I've got the rubber stoppers and these are stainless screws. They come with stainless screws so that if uh, if they get wet when you're washing the board or whatever they're not going to rust. Now when I place this on a work surface if it wobbles on the surface at all I can just add a washer to the underside of one of these feet to level it out and again that would be a stainless steel washer these are nice rubber feet that won't slide around on the work the work surface so now now I can apply more oil to the top side. This is the underside. I've got my, my mark on the underside, Woodsley Summercraft. I've got my handles routed into the ends. And then the top side I just needs more oil. I'll probably apply oil for several days. As long as it will soak up the oil I'll continue to apply. Right now I'm using the Mahoney's Warner oil which may darken the wood a little bit but that's that's okay. It's food safe, allergen free, good stuff. And then I will then apply the Woodsley Summercraft um, cutting board wax which is basically bees, beeswax and uh, mineral oil. which will protect the board and then it needs to be reapplied when when washed if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you again for another wood project very soon Please don't forget to head over to my bee channel, Woodsley Bees, to check out my beekeeping efforts. Take care now. Bye.